Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Monday, March 7th, 2022. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Ryan Carlin. And I'm David Lima. The next meeting for the French Club is today after school in the Student Center for the Mardi Gras celebration. The next No Place for Hate meeting will take place tomorrow immediately after school in the library. New members are always welcome. The WHS Humanities Club will be meeting tomorrow after school in room 147. Please join the Jewish Cultural and Development Club for a very important meeting immediately after school today in room 244. Be sure to bring your device and headphones as they will be joined virtually by representatives from the Kane University Holocaust Resource Center. The club will be discussing what their next steps should be in terms of improving education and awareness about the anti-Semitism and the Holocaust at WHS. Attention all club advisors who requested interest in submitting event photos for the yearbook. You should have received an email last week with a link for submission via a Google form. Please let Dr. Del Rosso know if you did not receive the form. The deadline for material submission is March 18th. Attention all senior athletes. The Booster Association scholarship forms are now available in the athletic office. Completed forms must be received in the athletic office by 3 p.m. on Friday, March 25th in order to be considered. Congratulations to the Varsity Winter Color Guard under the leadership of Captains Christina Del Perra and Carmen Fiorindo for placing first in the Scholastic AA class at the Mid-Atlantic Indoor Network Competition held at South Brunswick High School on Saturday. The Guard's score of 74.58 earned them a promotion to the Scholastic A class, marking the first time in school history that the Westfield Color Guard has ever been promoted to the Scholastic A class. Congratulations to Varsity Color Guard members. We now go to sports with Michael Cerrotti. Good morning, WHS. I'm Michael Cerrotti, and here's your BDTV sports update. Over the weekend, at the Boys Meet of Champions, Charlie Stock finished number one in New Jersey in the 800 meter race with his time of 152.7. With this time, Stock broke his own record for the fastest in WHS history. The 4x400 relay group of Stock, Joe Piero, Justin Colby, and Charlie Garretson finished in a close second with a time of 323.93. The 4x800 of Daniel Cortese, Jimmy Gildea, Graham Corins, and Johnny Scalia finished in third, running an 812.18. Shot putter Owen Paul finished 16th in New Jersey at 50 feet and 4 inches, good for the seventh best in WHS history. In the swimming meet of champions, a number of Blue Devils finished at the top of many races. From the girls team, Emily Constable finished first in the state in the 100-yard breaststroke. Claire Logan got first in two races, winning the 50-yard free and 100-yard backstroke, where she broke a meet record and all-time WHS record. From the boys' team, Colin Cavanaugh set a school record in the 100-yard freestyle with a time of 46.64. In the 200-yard freestyle relay, Cavanaugh, Rowan Baker, Owen Weibel, and Coleman Scanlon swam a 125.25 to finish second and break a WHS record. Cavanaugh, Baker, Weibel, and Christian Tedesco finished third in the 400-yard freestyle relay, while breaking the WHS record with a time of 309.82. Junior wrestler Michael Murphy placed seventh in New Jersey in the, 100 yard, in the 157 weight class in Atlantic City. On Friday, the girls basketball team beat Bayonne 64-48, as Grace Clagg had 22 points, 18 rebounds, and 5 blocks. Annie Ryan also went for 16 points and 8 rebounds. They advance to face Hillsboro at home tomorrow at 7. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, Dave and Ryan. Thanks, Mike. With the mask mandate now gone, I went out into the halls to see how students were feeling about the change. Hi, I'm Ryan Carl, and we're outside the TV studio where when the periods change, we'll be asking people their opinions on Westfield High School losing the mask mandate. Um, I feel really good about it. Uh, we've had Westfield High School has had masks for a while now, and I think... Uh, I mean, me personally, I'm really excited to get it off and uh, see a lot of faces around school, you know, and my teacher's faces, you know. It'll be great. 
Thank you. I'm pretty excited about the mask mandate. I think it's a great way to get back to normalcy. And yeah, I just can't wait to see some of my friends' faces again. Uh, I'm just happy about it. I think it's exciting because it's school might start to feel a little normal, but it is also scary and people probably want to keep their masks on to stay safe and also because people are now like insecure. I'm pretty uh, excited to be honest, just because I feel like it's time, even though I respect other people wearing their masks still, I'm excited to take mine off. I have mixed feelings. I'm happy personally that I don't have to wear it all the time, but I probably will wear it when we work in small groups, but not sweating like this. I'd be extremely happy. I'm excited because it's optional. I'll probably be wearing it the hallways, just not in my classroom because, yeah. I do think I'm still going to wear my mask as, honestly, a security blanket, but also in the hallways I feel kind of unsafe with everyone. There you have it, folks. Lots of opinions, but the fact is Westfield High School is now mask optional. For BDTV, I'm Ryan Carlin. Back to you in the studio. It was sure great seeing a lot of smiling faces out there. Yes, it has. That's all for the time we have for today. If you would like to submit an announcement to be read, please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at WHSBDTV. Have a marvelous Monday, WHS.